Hello my beautiful people, welcome to my channel Makeup and Hair Company. Today's video is going to be about zero waste makeup. I'm sure most of you would have heard these kind of green makeup, toxic free makeup, uh, zero waste makeup, plastic free makeup, sustainable makeup and so many jargons that you see uh, on, an, on an everyday basis these days because um, one good news is I'm happy to see that uh, a lot of manufacturers are coming up with green uh, uh, you know green practices where uh, they think about environment uh, before they try to manufacture something but also on the other side a lot of greenwashing has also been happening where people just uh, randomly promote their brand as zero waste makeup and plastic free makeup but which is absolutely nonsense because I myself have seen a lot of brands promoting themselves as uh, zero waste uh, makeup uh, thinking that their products don't end up in the landfill it is not true at all only when a product is um, you know a packaging is 100% compostable only then you call something as zero waste or at least infinitely recyclable people do manufacture uh, beauty products and uh, the beauty products are packed in plastics plastic containers but they uh, promote themselves uh, saying that they are actually recycling the plastics but recycling plastic is a, is a, is a myth only 90 only 4% of the plastics in this entire world can be recycled and the other fact about recycling is you cannot recycle a plastic container or anything that is plastic more than two or three times because the bond breaks and it is not plastic anymore it has to go to the landfill so this has been happening for a very long time and people uh, I don't know if they are educated about that or not but I'm sorry to say that there are so many manufacturers who are greenwashing who are um, you know promoting their brands uh, saying that they are a green brand but they are actually not so today in this video I'm just uh, you know I just thought that I should educate you guys about uh, zero waste makeup so before even I talk about what is zero waste makeup, I want to talk why we need to go for zero waste makeup. So uh, any cosmetic product that you buy in the market, it is actually 99% of the products are plastic. At least the cap that is um, that comes, the lid that comes with your product is made of plastic, right? So where are these plastic going, going to? Have you ever thought about that? We are just trashing it in the trash can and then we are throwing it in the dumpster and the dumpster, uh, every dumpster is collected and everything goes to a recycling plant, I mean waste segregation plant where they segregate waste and some of the plastic do go to the recycling plant but most of them, 95% of the plastics cannot be recycled because they are contaminated. So that is the truth of recycling industry so please think before you even trash your uh, you know your plastic containers and the second thing is after they go to the landfill they are just thrown into the ocean and uh, which in return affects the aquatic life and uh, to this day there are so many tons and tons of videos available on YouTube uh, which talks about uh, plastic pollution on the oceans so if the oceans ocean ecosystem is uh, imbalanced of course the land ecosystem is also going to get imbalanced so it's going to affect us it's going to come back to us it's a boomerang so it's our sole responsibility to you know uh, switch to zero waste uh, lifestyle so the first thing uh, when it comes to zero waste uh, makeup is that you save a lot of money trust me when i say this you really save a lot of money because most of the zero waste concept itself comes as refills where you buy that container and then all you have to do is just refills so you just don't pay for the excess packaging you just pay for the product because you already have the refill container with you so most of the uh, zero waste products they are actually going to save you a lot of money and then the next thing uh, is you eventually evolve into a conscious shopper who will avoid impulse buying and before you buy a product you just think about the planet think about the consequences is it good for you is it good for the planet when you think if something is good for the planet you obviously think if it's good for you right so you become a very conscious buyer when you switch into a zero waste uh, makeup lifestyle 
and uh, the next point that i want to talk about is supporting small businesses these days small businesses are involved in um, zero waste makeup because it's very difficult to uh, you know take or scale zero waste business because uh, there are so many other technical issues involved in preserving the batch and all that so uh, most of the zero waste makeup it is actually um, you know owned by small businesses so you will eventually be supporting small businesses so rather than buying uh, something from a retail store try to uh, look out for uh, small businesses on Etsy platforms where you find so many amazing products you will be surprised I was surprised me being a makeup artist I was surprised I found really good products on Etsy the next point that I want to talk about is you are about to begin your your zero waste lifestyle journey when you uh, you know if you are someone who is uh, looking to start something for the planet or if you are someone who wants to start a zero waste lifestyle and if you don't know where to start this is the right place for you to start because you almost every day these days people wear makeup right so you contribute to the planet by using zero waste makeup last but not the least every zero waste makeup brand it also comes with toxic free organic uh, you know components that is present in a particular product so when they are thinking for uh, the planet the packaging for the planet they obviously they will think the toxicity think about the toxicity of the product right so the product will not have any sort of chemicals or toxic uh, elements which are actually banned for uh, usage in us in us itself 1300 and something chemicals are banned for cosmetic use but people manufacturers still use them so that kind of um, aspects you will not find in zero waste makeup routine so i would highly highly recommend you guys to you know start your uh, zero waste makeup uh, lifestyle i will do a dedicated video on how to do a zero waste uh, you know makeup on yourself so please stay tuned subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in another video